can't, you can't go down if you want to go up. If you're at your peak, you no, can go no, down. Yeah. We're not at our peak. We're at the top of the mountain. No, we're not. That's what you're even, to do. We're not you're even on the mountain. There is a mountain. There's a mountain. There's a mountain slappy. You're slappy. You're looking at his camera on you. <laughs> Moving up in the world. Apparently you're so not. There is to be. <laughs> So how long have you guys been a band? About a year and a half. How'd you guys meet? Uh, through my cousin, she knew Carlos and I was looking for a drummer at the time. And she just referred to me, or me to him, and we got in touch and he came and tried out. Yeah, yeah so that's how we then, started. Then we needed a guitarist for the band we made after that. Yeah. So. Sam was there at the house, and we're like, oh, let's have him play guitar. So he came over, he knew the songs already, so we just, you know, went over him. Yeah, we brought him in. And then we needed a singer after a while, and Clarin's dad actually hit us up on Craigslist. And then we met that way. On oh, Craigslist. 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 Crazy, yeah. Craigslist, it works. I've been doing music since I was six. I joined a uh, children's choir when I was six years old. I was the youngest choir member at the time and I just absolutely loved it. And I did that until I was 12. And then I was in a Radio Disney pop group called Max 7 and I did that for two years and it was a lot of fun. We went on tour and I got a lot of stage experience and fun times. Um, and then when I turned 14, I started writing and recording my own stuff, and that was really cool. And um, after that, I started kind of getting into bands and uh, in and out of bands, working for studios, so writing for other people. And then when I Yes, it was. I felt it slow. It's, 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 it's a little slow too. So, pump it up? I don't know. Uh, you want to go see what you recorded at the other day? Yeah, can you? Please. I didn't play any strings, unfortunately, but I do play the guitar, bass, and um, I did a lot of acting in high school as well. And uh, my forte would probably be playing the piano and singing too. That'd be the, the main thing. 
So where are you guys uh, based out of? Where are you guys hometown? Um, we're primarily based out of the Antelope Valley. We pretty much all are in that like Palmdale area, Palmdale. but he is from Chicago. I was born in Chicago, raised in Kenosha, Wisconsin, moved out here about six years ago. But yeah, the band is uh, Palmdale based, Palmdale, California. That's in the Antelope Valley. And uh, we do shows out in LA too, uh, but primarily we do the Antelope Valley. We're just trying to build a fan base, you know, at home locally first before we start doing so many shows, just, just so we can get that following and, you know, build our fan base up first and then, you know, be able to have fans follow us to LA and not just be like, hey mom, thanks for coming, yeah. <laughs> we played in Hollywood, like mostly. Like I think, if not Palmdale, then Hollywood would probably be the second place yeah. that we played the most at Howl at the Moon, Palmdale. at Universal. But yeah, so pretty much those main main cities right there. So uh, where can people find you at? Find the band. Facebook.com slash Distance Guys Official. Also YouTube or SoundCloud. Or Twitter, Instagram, pretty much every ma major media where we got it covered. Primarily, you should find us on YouTube. We're going to be putting up a lot of a lot more stuff, a lot more videos that you can hear what yeah. we've done. We're going to put our new recordings up as well. So definitely, if you're going to check us out, go to YouTube and just search Distance Guys Official. Um, if you type in Distance Guys, I think a lot uh, a lot of other things will come up. But if you put Distance Guys Official. Some band, I think, named their song Just Disguise or something. Something like that, but yeah, definitely YouTube.